हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल टुडे आई एम मेकिंग माय डॉटर्स फेवरेट डिश फिश करी विद कोकोनट बेस सो वेन एवर आई मेक दिस डिश शी ऑलवेज आस्क मी मामा कैन यू प्लीज गिव लिटल अ साइड फॉर द नेक्स्ट डे बिकॉज दिस डिश इवन टेस्ट बेटर द नेक्स्ट डे सो आई एम मेकिंग दिस विद टिलापिया टुडे यू कैन ऑलवेज मेक इट विद सैलमिन पॉम्फ्रेट और एनी अदर फिश सो इफ यू हैव फिश लवर्स एट होम डू गिव इट अ ट्राई एंड आई एम श्योर यू विल गेट सो मेनी प्रेजेज So before we begin please do like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates thank you let's see the ingredients we have kashmiri mirchi around 12 to 15 then garlic cloves 10 to 12 1 inch of ginger 1 onion curry leaves around 10 to 12 green chilies 3 to 4 coconut oil 2 tablespoon kokum around 10 to 12 pepper cloves cumin seed 1 teaspoon fennel seed 1/2 a teaspoon whole coriander 1 tablespoon salt as per taste grated coconut 1 and a half cup and our marinated fish i have marinated it with turmeric salt and lime it's time to grind all our ingredients so let's add kashmiri mirchi coriander seed cumin fennel seed pepper ginger garlic i will be taking half of garlic now while grinding and half i will be using later while tempering and same uh, i will be doing it with onion as well half i'm taking it for grinding now and let's add our coconut now i'm using frozen coconut here but you can use freshly grated coconut as well adding some salt while grinding right now i would like to give you two tips here that will make your fish curry amazing first grind your coconut and rest of the ingredients in a very fine paste that will help you get a very nice creamy texture and it will give a very good taste to your curry second if you are making fish curry try and use coconut oil this will definitely enhance your curry taste now adding rest of the garlic i have crushed it little bit and then i'm adding some chilies curry leaves onions let's saute them well till the onion become little golden brown adding some salt so that the onion becomes red faster so once our onions are cooked and our garlic gets little golden brown let's add our grinded masala and cook it well till it becomes little darker in color and becomes almost half the size adding little more oil here to roast our masala well now let's cook it around 4 to 5 minutes now 
you see the color of our mixture has become little darker and it has reduced in size Once it is nicely cooked, I will be adding hot water to it. You can add water based on the consistency you're looking for. If you want it little thick, then you can add little less water and change the consistency accordingly. Mix everything well so that there are no lumps. Adding little more water. This looks perfect consistency for me. You see the texture of our curry, it is so creamy right now. So now we will put it to boil for at least 2 to 3 minutes before we add fish to it. Our curry is boiling well. Now I'm adding kokum to it. I have soaked it in water. Kokum helps you give sardness to your curry. And now let's add our marinated fish gently to the curry and spread it across so that it gets cooked evenly. So once we add the fish, Let's be extra cautious and gentle with moving the curry. Since the fish is delicate, it might break. We have to just mix it all together so that the fish is dipped in the curry well and it is cooked properly. Now let's put the lid on and cook it for 6 to 7 minutes. Since fish does not take too much time, 6 to 7 minutes would be sufficient for it to cook and we do not want to overcook it so this looks absolutely done right now our creamy amazing fish curry looks almost done and let's garnish it with coriander leaves doesn't it look beautiful the preparation is quite simple yet the taste is absolutely wonderful i'm sure when you try it at home you will get so many praises do give it a try and let me know in the comments below how did you like it. At the end, I prefer to taste the curry and then add any salt if needed because remember we have added little salt in the marination and then while grinding the masala. So make sure you taste it before you add little salt at the end our delicious fish curry is ready i hope you enjoy it with your family and friends do let me know how did you like this recipe do like share and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more updates till then be kind and stay safe. Thank you.